Sevens, yes. We're in the Sevens. Pole A versus Tarks. We are going to be doing our first. So they are going to get one warm up song and it's going to be best to five. Wait. Wait a minute. Best of three, not best of two. So overall, it will span two sets. This is where the matches get intense. This is going to be a very interesting match. Cole definitely loses out on anything above a 15. His stamina cannot handle it. Darks excels at pretty much everything. Darks' performance is on the three 17s that were picked here. Might lead him to taking down Cole at the moment. And Cole will be first whoever wins. Out of, let's see. We can see if Winjo is going to verse. Whoever wins this match is going to verse the winner of this coming match. I don't know. Let me double check. I'm not 100%. Oh, never mind. I don't understand, but either way, this is going to be a phenomenal match. First time I'm playing something with a lot of Japanese characters, I don't understand it. The unfortunate thing here for Cole is that 15, what he probably has the highest chance of winning on, is the last song. Wait. Oh, this is the warm up. So first off, these players are going to warm up with Hakame B-Side Bunny. Alright, let's go! Yeah, Mitch is, Mitch is freaking out over the choice of B-Side Bunny. Let's see how that performs. Yo! It's extraordinary, I think. Both players holding up some MSC. Both players dropping MSC for a PSC. So close to cutting his health. I think Dark is cut by two EX. Both players holding their PSCs. Both players have very high potential PSCs. Dark shot the first rate. However, Dark is like a two EX ahead. First three is here. Let's see if Cole holds up. Both players are still holding on to their PSCs. So Dark's holding his PSCs. Cole missing two times. This is going to be very close. Dark is still holding it to his FC. Because of those two misses of Cola, Dark is around 50 years ahead. Honestly, this is a very hard to see. Cole misses one more time. This is one more time, he's gonna be out. Dark's head by 30 years. Cole is on to his great essence. To be honest, I do not know why Cole was playing Life 4 in a corner. But that's just. He almost bit him in the last round, Cole was failed. Dark is a guaranteed win, no, doesn't matter, it's only the warm up. Both players play very well. To me, this shows a lot of a loss for Cole at the moment. For him to not be in to get this four times on the 15, while Dark is FC. And the difficulty is going to get harder from here. For me, I think Dark's a bonus for number one. He might be able to take it. Life bars are optional. I honestly don't know why Cole is using Cole has the machine record for the side button. First off, uh, six join here. Oh, this song again. We'll see if Cole chooses to take off life four. This song has a lot of verse, it is very stamina great. Cole chooses to go back to normal life bar, thank god for that. We'll see how, we'll see how Dark's in the bottom now. Let's go! First actual max, six joining years in a little max story. We have seen the score, we have seen the song of the tournament once before before this. A lot of bursts. 
It's all going to come down to who can act. Both of these players can easily perform. It is definitely Yo, down to who can up. perform it with the accuracy. Both the players, as expected, holding that PSC streak again. I believe you can hold this 2 You can do no wrong. Ooh, Dark's getting a great there. Cole holding onto his PSC. Cole around 10 EX ahead. Both players holding onto their FC. Cole's holding onto his PSC. Cole holding onto a 70 EX lead. Both players act that very well. Cole holding onto his PSC. Ooh, Cole makes a mistake there. Dark is now back in it. Both players are PSC, but Cole went from a PSC to a good FC. This could be anyone's game now. The EX was almost identical. Players getting all marvelous on that section. Cole is 2 EX ahead. Both players have got a ton of marvelous. I can't even tell it's so close. I think Dark is a bit ahead. Oh, Cole breaks, that could be it! Dux might be able to take it here. Dux is 12 ahead. He needs to hold on. Dux is around 15 ahead. It's all gonna be on this last one. Cole misses again! Dux takes the first round! 4 EX! Holding on to his FC. Cole had the better MA, but him missing cost him the win. Because he missed more than once, I believe he missed three times. Phenomenal first match. Music Dark is one. The next match is Possession. A 17 coming in. Both of these players have triple A's. This is a phenomenal song. Here we go, Perception 17. Both of these players are phenomenal on this shot. This is where it's gonna get interesting. The act of the start is gonna cost a lot of EX. I imagine to see a lot of MFCs here. Well, I'm hoping anyway. Cole hitting up a perfect, very early, two perfects. Ducks holding onto his MFC. Wow. Darks is holding onto his MFC, giving him a huge 3EX advantage, even though he got a great. The player's on a great combo, the slowdown is very notorious, Darks misses. We are going to be going to the first jump section now. Cole holding onto his grateful combo, Darks is missed, but Darks has much better act. It is neck and neck, this is the first jump section. Both players getting a lot of marvelous this year. It is almost neck and neck. The Cole is 5EX ahead. This stream will determine it. Oh! Both made mistakes. Cole is 9 ahead. Cole's around 15 ahead now. He's first pulled aside the stamina now. Around 15 ahead anyway. Dark is getting very good act. Same with Cole. Second jump section. Dark misses at the start. Around 20 EX in favor of Cole. Cole misses. 15 EX difference. It's all going to be down on this end stream. Cole misses. Oh my god, Dark misses. This is so close. Holy shit, this is so close. Dark loses by two EX. This is such a close match! Cole wins by 2 EX! Wow, I'm hyped! This is close! And this isn't even the finals! Both players will be loading into their second set. We have Reach the Sky without you, Rise of Firehawk, and then... I don't even know how to say that. This is phenomenal. Can't even comprehend this. What the hell?
both players just playing at their prime. See you next time. We are going to the second set now. It is one of one. One point to Pole, one point to Dark. Anything can happen here. We have two more 17. After this, we have three more matches. The loser of this match will versus whoever wins between BBC and Rijo in the next match. This is going to be intense. Reach the sky without you is a very technical chart. Both of these players definitely know the stops. It's just going to be performance. The difference here... Ducks is um, a lesser score than Cole, but Ducks is a senior. This could mean a lot. With Ducks is a senior, that means he knows all the gimmicks. Cole might have missed on one. Especially when there's a 4 PX difference between both players. It could cost them. Kristoff having a triple A. Let's see if we get any triple A's this set. Both players will be 3k of their original scores. The straight count. Cole holding on to a PSC. Dark holding on to a greater C. Cole's around 15 EX ahead, holding up his PSE, drops it on the screen. 20 EX ahead for Cole. Unfortunately, Dark Stick is on the screen. The first little technical party, let's see if they understand it. Yep, they know. Again, these players are phenomenal, they know this shot very well. Put the throw down here. Both players hit it without any issue. Around a 25, no, 15, 15 difference. 20 EX difference, favorite call, Cole. Cole misses. Third EX difference, favorite call. Cole misses. That gives Dots a lot of leeway. 10 EX favorite, 20 EX. We've got the stops here. Both players know this very well. Stop. Stop. Yep, they know it. Perfect. 17 EX difference. Ducks does miss. Probably making around a 25 EX difference. This could be anyone's game. 13 EX difference. It's all going to come down to the last stream. Can Cole hold on or will Ducks overtake this? Oh my god, this is so close. I can't even tell. One EX in favor of Cole! We got four, two, and one! What is this? This isn't even the fucking fighters. I'm sorry, I can't. I actually can't. This is crazy! Next up we have Rising Firehawk. Cole having a great FC and the Triple A. Dark's having a 970. This could go to Cole's favor. This is Cole A's match point. If he wins this, he's guaranteed second place and is going to the final. Rising Firehawk is an insanely challenging 17. It's not just technically difficult, it's generally difficult. Let's go! Let's see who gets it. Both players, each match has been within 5 EX. Both players holding on to their PSDs. Cold missing, Dark's getting good. Dark's ahead by 6 EX. 
That's still holding on to a crate. I think Cole has missed one, but he has not gotten a single crate. Yes! Last game is good. He can hold the edge. Cole's hit by about 10 hits. Cole misses twice. Cole still keeps the four. It's very even. Cole's MA is really carrying the back as well. Cole is great. Cole one of the first wins of this match. Cole, Cole is only the the next one guys. Again, very similar. It's going to be anyone's game. Still around for the DX, nothing's changed. Dark holding onto an SD. Both players hit that phenomenally! However, Coley's act, even though he missed at the end, was so much better on the street, leading the DX difference to around 32 35. This could be anyone's game again. Cole misses a few times. Those jump steps are very difficult. Pushes the difference to around 25. Let's see how dark goes. Around 30 EX. Darks misses. I think this might be in favor of Cole now. 30 EX. 40 EX in favor of Cole. Cole might have it. No players miss. Cole A takes the round and is moving to the finals.